right? And hence why I call it Ivan's Miscellaneous Series, as my series will be fucking Miss Man, and everyone who knew me in my life, they will all remember me so well. Like I told you, like, my series will be so missed that all the people who I went to school with, and Darcy, Lizger, all the people who I work with in my wife, all of them will all remember me so well. Like, yeah, I remember Ivan when he was poor. I worked with him. I went to school with him. I slept over at his house. He slept over at my house. We got drunk together. We smoked weed together. We hung out together. Like, it's going to be so sad that all those people, everyone in my life who knew me, they're all going to feel like shit. Like, man, like, look at Ivan now. He's living a life. Like, like who's the most, out of all the people, out of all the people in school who I met, who, who I went to school with, who's the most successful out of all of us? Ivan. Ivan's a fucking famous billionaire. He owns his own entertainment company bigger than the big six Hollywood companies. Yeah. That's how sad, that's how sad it's going to be, man. It's going to be so sad. And hence why I call it Ivan's Miscellaneous Series, as my series will be fucking missed, man. And everyone who knew me in my life, they will all remember me so well. Like, they're all going to fucking remember me. Like, man, I remember when I was, I remember when Ivan was poor, was lost, didn't even know about his wife or his identity. Yeah, I went to school with him. You know what I'm saying? I worked with him. He was a dishwasher. I, I took the bus with him a few times. He, I, he, Ivan used to always come here to buy smokes. He used to always hang out at the Elmer Bar on his own. He watched movies, uh, movies at the theaters on his own. You know what I'm saying? Ivan used to take the bus right here. Like everything's gonna become so sacred. Like once I donate all my, once I donate my used laptop, um, you know what I'm saying? I, I everything will become so sacred. Like oh my god! Like when I donate my used laptop to, 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 to the thrift store, the person who buys it will be like oh my god! Like Ivan used this laptop when he was poor. Yeah, everything will become so sacred. Ivan used to live in this house for like twenty some years. You know what I'm saying? He just, you know, he owned this table right here. Like, because I'm going to donate all my stuff when I, once I come out from death and I send my final goodbyes. Everything will become so sacred. Right? And hence why I call it Ivan's of Miscellaneous Series, as my series will be fucking missed, man. And everyone who knew me in my life, they will all remember me so well. Like, man, I remember when Ivan was poor, lost, didn't even know he had, about his wife or his identity. Yeah, I went to school with him. I worked with him. I talked to him a few times, hung out with him. You know what I'm saying? Because it's going to be so weird. It'll be so sad that all the people who knew in my life will feel like shit. Some might even cry as now Ivan is king. He's a famous billionaire looking fly with his wife. He owns his own film entertainment company bigger than the big Hollywood companies. I told you, Sky Source will be, will the, will be the biggest film brand in the entertainment business. It'll be bigger than Disney, Warner Bros., Universal, Paramount, Lionsgate, Netflix... You know what I'm saying? It'll be bigger than all Amazon Prime. But Amazon Amazon, Amazon is partnering with Skyfish. So either way, Amazon's going to benefit from Skyfish because they're, they're partnering with Skyfish. Because I want to sell my, my 4K Blu-ray movies on, on, on Amazon. But 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 Skyfish Entertainment will be, will, 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 will be bigger than all will be bigger than all the big six companies, man. The big the big, all the big top Hollywood companies. Skyfish will be a bigger company than all those companies. All those film studios. Yeah. That's how big Skyfish will be. Be the biggest film brand in the entertainment business. Bigger than Disney, man. Disney's fucking big, and yet Skyscrapers will be bigger than Disney. Skyscrapers will be putting out better quality movies than Disney Film Studios. That's how top must guys, that's how boss and your wife will be. Me and my wife will be so boss that, like, like that you're gonna go, oh my god, like, oh, like, Skyscrapers is so, is better than Disney. Yeah, Skyscrapers will be better than Disney. Bigger than Disney, man. Disney Film Studios. If you think Star if you think Avengers movies were badass, if you think those Star Wars movies were badass, if you think if if if, if you think all those Disney movies that came out are badass, if you think Mandalorian's badass, by the way, who I recommend to all the people out there, watch Mandalorian. Mandalorian is one of the best shows ever made, man. Crazy ending for season two, man. You gotta watch that. Crazy ending. Right, I recommend watch Mandalorian on Disney Plus. I'm, yeah, you're welcome, Disney. I'm, I'm throwing your name out there. I remember when, I remember before, I remember one time, at one point, Disney Plus had 10 million, had 10 million downloads on, on Google Play, and then once I gave a shell, now they had 50 plus million downloads, that's how powerful they are, man, you're welcome. I recommend, go to Disney Plus, subscribe to Disney Plus, and, and, and watch Mandalorian, Mandalorian is one of the best shows ever, ever made, man. Mandalorian, the show, you can argue, is better than the movies, that's how good the show is, the show is so good, it's an amazing show, man. You can argue it's better than this than the prequels and sequels, right? 
Yeah, that's how good of a show Mandalorian is. You gotta watch it. It's an amazing show, man. But anyways, going back to the topic. Sky will be a bigger film brand than all those big Hollywood companies and all those big big Hollywood companies in Hollywood. That's how boss my wife will be. Right? Right, so it'll be so sad that all the people who knew in my life will feel like shit. Some might even cry. As now Ivan is king... He's a famous billionaire looking fly with his wife. He owns his own film entertainment company bigger than the big Hollywood companies. It'll be so weird for them to see Ivan now rich with his wife because before he was a poor loner who was lost as even though his wife. It'll be so weird that they'll be like, oh my god, like I remember when Ivan was poor. He was lost. He didn't even know about his identity. You know what I'm saying? He didn't even know his family was rich. The whole time his family was rich and now he figured out the puzzle of the game. He paid his fee, he wrote the best book ever, he saved his wife, and now he's a rich billionaire. It's so worth seeing the quick, it's so worth seeing the transition from him being poor. Whereas Victoria Justice, it won't be, it's not as worth seeing the transition for her because Victoria Justice was, actually was rich. Even though she's not a billionaire, Victoria Justice actually lived the rich life. She was a millionaire. Victoria Justice probably has a good like 1.5, 2 million bank around there. She's a survivor, but she's rich. She's rich for, 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 for someone of her side. But to make that kind of money, you're obviously rich. She's rich. She owns her own house. She has, she has, she owns nice cars. She's Victoria Justice is rich. She lived the rich life. Right? She didn't live the, but, but, so Victoria Justice, you will see the transition because now she's a billionaire with me. But it's, but it's not as weird seeing, it's, it's not as, it's, it's not as shocking seeing her transition compared to mine. Because I was so poor, it's weird seeing the transition Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, now that I, now Ivan's billion, it's worth seeing that transition. Whereas for VJ, it's not as weird because VJ was already rich. Now she's just richer. Yeah, it's it's still gonna be a big transition for for VJ. The Victoria Josh has never lived the billionaire life. Living the billionaire life means you can own your own jet, your own company, like. Victoria Justice never had that kind of money, but even then, Victoria Justice was at least rich. She got to live a celebrity life in Hollywood, which was rich, whereas Ivan was completely poor. He was kept behind the scenes. That's how weird it's gonna be with um. That's how weird it's gonna be with uh, with um, with with, with all the people who knew my life. They're gonna be like, oh my god, like, this is so fucking weird, and they're gonna feel like shit. And they're all gonna cry, man. Some of them might even cry because that's how because that's how sad it's gonna be. Yeah, the people who knew Victoria Justice, even they will feel like shit. Like, yeah, I remember VJ when she was a sabotage porn star in Hollywood, couldn't land a big role in a big budget movie, sabotage obviously, and now she's a boss, she owns her own film entertainment company with her husband, her script developer is the one that determines which one of those big actors who put her down will be chosen. In other words, all those big actors in Hollywood who, who thought they were so big, who turned me, oh look at VJ, she's nothing, she can't land a big budget movie role in a big, in a big budget movie, all those powerful Hollywood actors, those woman Hollywood actors in Hollywood who put VJ down. Oh my God, VJ's nothing. Well, now VJ, well now now that she's queen with me, she's now the boss. She owns her firm entertainment company. Now they're gonna be like, oh my God! Like I remember when VJ was was a tr was a trashy person in Hollywood. She couldn't land a big budget movie. She she couldn't land a big budget movie. And now she's a billionaire with Ivan. She owns a big budget movie. And now all those big woman actors who thought who were so powerful in Hollywood, now they're sending in their reels to and VJ Skitterfro is the one who decides which one's cast. They're the ones begging these nobody actors to, to give VJ and Ivan a good word. That's how boss me wife would be, yeah. Hence why VJ made that Bang R and E song. Because that Bang R and E that Bang R and E song is, is is a symbolism of the world getting what they deserve. But it's also a symbol it's a symbolism of the actors begging, obviously. The actors are gonna beg for me to be signed them, obviously. At the same time, at the same time, all those big woman actors who thought they were who are so powerful in Hollywood, they're, they're what they're they're, they're, they're they're gonna be begging these actors and the script developer to give VJ and Ivan word because 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 now VJ and Ivan are the big boss and they they they, they want to work for Ivan and VJ. Yeah, that's how boss VJ will be, man. Should be the fucking big boss. Oh, should be only your own film entertainment company with me, man. Yeah, those big, all those big, all those big woman actors out there were so big. They're gonna be begging these nobody. These are gonna, they're gonna be begging these B-list actors and the script developer. Hey man, can you give Ivan Vijay work? That's how boss me wife will be. Yeah, right. So the people who knew Victoria Justice, even they will feel like shit. Like yeah, I don't know Vijay when she was a sabotage porn star, couldn't land a big budget movie role. Sabotage obviously, and now she's a boss. She owns her own film entertainment company with her husband. Her script developer is the one that determines just one of those big actors who put it down and be chosen. 
She'll be the one paying all those women actors from Hollywood their fucking salary. So all those big woman actors who are in Hollywood, Victoria Justice will be paying them their fucking salary. Yeah, that's how boss we want for me. All those big, powerful celebrities in Hollywood, me and VJ are going to be paying their fucking salary, flying them on our private fucking jet. That's how boss we want for me. Right, because Christopher is the one that determines which one of those big actors who put it down will be chosen. She will be the one paying all those women actors from Hollywood their fucking salary. Flying them on her luxury jet. That's how boss VJ will be. In other words, even though VJ won't be missed as much as me because she got to live a celebrity life, even the celebrities in Hollywood will be like, wow, look at her now. She's a boss. Once she was in Hollywood, she tried to narrow with the big woman actors, right? Who to land a major big budget role. But they all bust her aside and looked at her as nothing. They always make they made fun of her career. Yeah, Victoria Justice has a shitty career. She so can't land a big budget a big budget a big budget role. Sabotage, obviously, because Victoria Justice would take him out, obviously. Right? Once she's in Hollywood, she tries to network with big actors to land a big major big budget movie role. But they all bust her aside. The producers and the big producers and directors, the studio execs, all bust her aside in Hollywood. And now she owns her own film entertainment company, bigger than Disney, Warner Bros., Paramount, Universal, Lionsgate, Columbia's Pictures, Sony Columbia's Pictures, right? Now she's acting in her own big budget movie, and all the big woman actors that thought they were so big. So all the powerful big woman actors in Hollywood thought they were so big, right? They are now sending in their reels to Sky Source and even begging the script developer and the chosen Hollywood actors if they could give her a good word. That's how crazy you'll be with the Hollywood actors. And that's how boss Vijay will be. So, Vijay will be so boss that all those big woman actors in Hollywood who thought they were... So, all the powerful... Wo like, when I mean powerful, I mean all the powerful woman big actors in Hollywood... Even they will be begging the script developer and those chosen actors. Hey, man, can you give VJ and I a good word about me? That's how Boss VJ will be. They're going to be setting in their reels. And the script will be the one to, who decides which one of those women actors will be cast for the movie. Role. That's how big me. That's how big Victoria Justice will be. She'll be the fucking boss. She'll be the big boss alongside me, man. That's how big VJ will be, man. Yeah, you're welcome, Victoria. Hence the setup world, as you already made your foolish choice, as I won't be repeating myself again, because I think by now that you know, once I'm king, me and my wife will not take the time and make videos on our Sabotage channel when you're not going to take your time and talk about us in the public eye. So because you're choosing to say Zero Island, Zero VJ forever in the public eye, within well Zero Island, Zero VJ forever on the Sabotage channel, you go to fucking Zero, I'm making you videos for you. You want me to make videos for you, do the right thing, put my stats on and start talking about me in the public eye. If you don't, if you, if you want to be selfish and say, you know, we're not going to talk about Ivan and VJ, we're going to keep behind the scenes. Well, you know what? You're going to reap what you, you put your soul. Ivan and VJ will be kept behind the scenes. You got your fucking deserve. I'm not going to let you have your full kick like that and have you be selfish. No. If you want me to make videos for you, put my stats on and start talking about me. Because you're obviously not going to do that. After causing this horror mess and killing this man, I'm not making, I'm not taking the time to make videos for you. Once I'm king, king, and my wife's here with me, I'm peacing out, I'm taking out the throne with her, and you're going to be left behind and abandoned by God. And you can, you can you can hope and pray that me and my wife are going to make videos for you. I'm telling you right now, you can see the future. You know for a while I'm not making videos for you. Zero. You know what you fucking deserve, man. Yeah, there you go. Because once I'm king, I'm totally going to forget about my old life. I'm not even going to think about my stupid Zapdos channel. Yeah, there you go. Hence the setup world. As you already made your foolish choice... As I won't be repeating myself again, because I think by now that you know, once I'm king and me and my wife queen, and my wife queen with me, we will not take the time to make videos on our Sabotage channel when you're not going to take the time to talk about us in the public eye. Hence, you want to keep Ivan behind the scenes so you will reap what you sow when Ivan and VJ are both queen, king and queen, and you'll reap what you fucking sow. Has peace the fuck out world. And I'm not kicking around. You can take your ground you want, but I'm telling you right now, you can see the future. You know for a while what I'm peace now. I'm making videos for you. You actually fucking zero. I'm not taking the time. I'm not gonna take the time to make videos for you and not get paid for it. No. You wanna see me, you gotta pay for my movies to, to, to see me. Yeah, there you go. Now for my book Last Over Zayas, as I'll keep on saying this, to all the book nerds and movie nerds out there, if you think Gerard Tolkien's book Lord of the Rings is good, if you think Brand Saracen's Will of Time series is good, if you think J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series is good, if you think J.R. Martin's Game of Thrones series is good, 
wait until you read Last of Resilience, as I'll dare say, is a better read than all these books, yes, even Lord of the Rings, as J.R.R. Tolkien's Lord of the Rings is deemed untouchable to the fantasy world. So I told you, if you think J.R.R. Tolkien's book, Last of the Lord of the Rings, is amazing, Last of Resilience, I'll dare say, I'm saying, I'm saying this live on camera, is a better book than J.R.R. Tolkien's book, as J.R.R. Tolkien's book is considered untouchable. I'm not kidding, I've watched so many videos on YouTube and I've done research, and everyone says, yeah, no one can touch J.R.R. Tolkien's book. J.R.R. Tolkien's book is the best book ever written. J.R.R. Tolkien's the father of fantasy. Nobody, nobody can write a better book than J.R.R. Tolkien, and yet Ivan O'Meara wrote a better book than the J.R.R. Tolkien's book, Lord of the Rings. Yeah, that's how good Zayn is. Zayn is so good that you're looking at a book better than Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings may have better, a more rich world building, better world building, obviously. Nothing can top Lord of the Rings world building. But last of Zayn is you're looking at a, a better story. You're looking at a better story than J.R.R. Tolkien's Lord of the Rings book. That's how good Zayn is. Zayn's is a book that's better than the J.R. Tolkien's Lord of the Rings book. Yeah. In other words, Last Hope for Zayn's is a book that will top Lord of the Rings. And I know a lot of you book nerds think I'm crazy saying this, as nobody, nobody has been able to write a book over the last 50 years better than Lord of the Rings. And yet Ivan O'Meara finally is the one author that wrote a story better than J.R. Tolkien's book. I'm not kidding around. Over the past 50, 60 years or so, no fantasy author has been able to accomplish the task of writing a better novel than, than, than Lord of the Rings. I'm reading Lord of the Rings right now. Oh, give, me, give me a second. I'm reading Lord of the Rings series right now. I have this series here. I bought it on Amazon. I'm reading The Fellowship of the Ring right now. I'm reading, I'm 400 pages into the book. 400 pages into the, the fall. I'm, I'm reading, I'm reading Lord of the Rings right now, right? I'm reading Lord of the Rings right now, the, the, the uh, the, uh, the Fellowship of the Ring. And the book is amazing, but I compare it to Zanus, and Zanus is a better read, Zanus is a better read than the, 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 the Lord of the Rings, man. And Fellowship of the Ring is considered the best of the three books, and yet I'm 400, I'm 420 pages into the, in, in, into, into, into the first book. The book is amazing, amazing world building. But I compare it to Zanus, I'm like, oh my god, Zanus is, 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 is a better book. Yeah. Zanus is a better book than uh, The Lord of the Rings. Right? So over the last 50 years, 60 years, no author has been able to accomplish... No author... To my recollection, no author... No author has been able to write a book better than Lord of the Rings, and yet, and yet Last of Zanus is a book that's better than Lord of the Rings. Last of Zanus is the only book, Last of Zanus is the only book whereby the reader can say, yeah, Last of Zanus is a better book than Lord of the Rings. Whereas no other book can touch Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, is, Lord of the Rings has such a rich, has such rich world building, such, such an amazing story that no fantasy book can beat it, and yet Last of Zanus is the one book to beat it. That's how good Zanus is. Right? In other words, world, to all you book nerds here, listen up. In other words, Last Hope for Zayas will be the modern Lord of the Rings. It will be the book that no fantasy author will be able to touch nor compete with. Just like no author or book is comparable to Lord of the Rings, Yara Tolkien's Lord of the Rings, with its rich history, language, and world building story. No book or author will be able to top Last of Zayn. That's a good answer. Zayn, just like J.R.R. Tolkien's book was deemed untouchable. No one can touch Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings is such an amazing book. No fantasy book can compare to it. Well, Last of Zayn is the one book to top Lord of the Rings. At the same time, it's the one book that no author, no author or book will be able to, 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 to touch. No author will be able to touch... Last of Zanus. Last of Zanus is such an amazing book that no author will be able to write a better a better book than that. That's what good Zanus is. Zanus is such an amazing book that no author. I'm saying it live on camera. No author will be able to touch 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 Last of Zanus. Last of Zanus is such an amazing book that no no book will be com will, will be comparable to it. It's that good of a story. Just like no book is com comparable to Lord of the Rings, no book will be... Lord of the Rings and Last of Zanes will be the two books that are untouchable. Yeah, Lord of the Rings is an untouchable book that no one can touch. No, no book can beat Lord of the Rings. No fantasy book can beat Lord of the Rings. Just as no fantasy book will be able to beat Last of Zanes. 
That's how good Zayas is. Zayas is that good that it'll be it'll be it'll be deemed the un, it'll be it'll be the untouchable book. No author, yeah, no, yeah, no author will be able to touch Zayas. Zayas is, is, is an amazing story. Nothing can compare to that. That's how good Zayas is, yeah. That's how good Last Hope for Zayas is. It is a book that no author will be able to compete with or touch because it is that good of a fucking book. Just like no author will, is able to compete with Lord of the Rings is that good of a book, no author will be able to touch Last of Zayas as Last of Zayas is that good of a fucking book. That's how good Zayas is. I'm telling you now, all you bookers can think I'm crazy, but once you read the book, you'll finally see what I mean. You're, 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 you're finally going to admit, you're going to be like, oh my god, like... Last Sword of Zanius is actually buried in Lord of the Rings. No one has been able, no one has been able to say that 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 that, that a book is buried in Lord of the Rings. But once you read Zayas, you're finally gonna be like, oh my god, like Last Sword of Zanius is, is 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 the best book, fantasy book ever written. Yeah, it's buried in Lord of the Rings, and it's a book that no no author will be able to touch. No fantasy author will be able to touch. Uh, unbeatable book, man. Unbeatable book. All right. In other words, Last Sword of Zanius is so good. That I can't, that Ivan O'Mara cannot even write another fantasy novel. If I did, I'll have to write in the same universe. That's how good the book is. In other words, Last of Zanius is so good that I can't even write another, I can't even write a better fantasy, I can't even write another fantasy novel. If I were to write another fantasy novel, I'll, I'll have to write in the same, I would have to write in the same universe. Like write a prequel, I'll have to write prequels in the same universe. That, that's how good Zanius is. Zayas is so good that I can't even write another fantasy novel. I'll have to write Zayas, I'll have to write a book in the same universe. Because that's how good Zayas is, yeah. Best fantasy novel written, Bird of the Lord of the Rings. And Way of Kings. And, and Game of Thrones, Song of Ice and Fire, Game of Thrones, yeah. Right? In other words, it is so good that I cannot write another fantasy novel. If I did, I'll have to write one in the same universe. That is how good the book is. Just like Lord of the Rings changed the fantasy genre, Last Horror of Zanus will also change the fantasy genre, as no book will be able to compete against it, just like no book was able to compete against Lord of the Rings at the time. So just like just like Lord of the Rings changed the fantasy genre, Last Horror of Zanus will change, the, will, will change the, the modern fantasy genre, as no book will be able to compete with it. No book will be able to touch, touch Zanus. Zanus is such an amazing book that university professors are going to recommend my book. Top Authors like Brian Sanderson, Jared Tolkien, George R. Martin, they're going to be inspired by my book. That's how good, just like all those authors are inspired by Jared Tolkien's book, once they read Zanus, they're going to be inspired by my book, Last of Zanus. That's how good Zanus is. It's so good that university professors will even study my book. Okay, how did Ivan plan all his characters? How did Ivan write this amazing story? Yeah. You're looking at something, you're looking at the best book I've written. It's going to change, it's going to change the fantasy genre. Last of Zanus is gonna. Last of Zanus is such a good book. It's gonna change the way people write. It's gonna change the fashion genre because it's that good of a book, right? So just like Lord of the Rings changed the fashion genre, Last of Zanus will also change the fashion genre as no book will be able to compete against it. Just like no book was able to compete against Lord of the Rings at the time. And believe me, I know a lot of you think I'm gutsy saying this, that my book is better than J.R.R. Tolkien's book or Brad Saracen's book. But once you read my book, you will finally see what I mean. In other words, right now you guys think I'm crazy. All the books are fantasy read. You guys think I'm crazy. Oh my god, Ivan, how can you say your, your book Last of Us is Baron Jarrah Tolkien's book better than Brian Sanderson's book? Or Baron Jer George R. R. Martin's book? Baron J.K. Rowling's book? But once you read the book, you'll finally see what I mean. And you'll be like, oh my gosh, like this is the best fantasy I've ever written. Yes, even better than Jarrah Tolkien's Lord of the Rings. Yeah, there you go. Right? And once you purchase the book on ebook or print, when you read the first volume, you'll be hooked. You'll be hooked. You'll be hooked. You'll keep on turning the page. You will binge the entire first volume. Take your break. Order some food. That's how good the book is. It's so because it's so exciting. Zay is such an amazing book that once you read the first couple of chapters, you're gonna order some food and read your book. It's so interesting. It's, it's an exciting book to read, yeah. You'll even order some food while reading it. You will also binge the second volume and binge the third volume even more. That is how good Last of Us Zanus is. It is literally the best fantasy novel ever written. Yes, even better than the God of Fantasy himself, Jared Tolkien's book. And once you finish it, you'll be like, wow, what a fucking entertaining, amazing story. Ivan took me for a ride the entire way through like no other book has done before. He kept me hooked from volume one all the way to the end, all the way to the end. 
Even Lord of the Rings doesn't keep you hooked the whole way through, but Last Hope for Zanus will keep you fucking hooked, man. You're looking at an entertaining story, and once you finish the book, to all you book nerds, for the first time, you'll all be like, man, I even wrote a better book than Gerard Tolkien's book. He kept me hooked the whole way through. Even Gerard Tolkien didn't do that. That's how shocked you will be. Once you read the book, Last Hope for Zanus... Last of Us is, is that good of a fucking book? I wouldn't be this cocky or gussy if it wasn't. In other words, Last of Us is such an amazing book that to all those book nerds out there who are crazy, who are who are Jared to who are saying Jared Tolkien's a god of fantasy, once you read Last of Us, is, you're finally gonna be like, oh my god, like Last of Us is, is actually better than Lord of the Rings. Yeah, just like no, just like no book is able to touch Lord of the Rings. Last of Us is, is the one book that 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 tops Lord of the Rings. You know, it, 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 it takes number one spot. Once you read Last of the Rings, your 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 father gonna be like, oh my god, like Ivan's book, Last of the Rings, is better than Lord of the Rings. Yeah, Lord of the Rings is second to Last of the Rings. Yeah, that's how good that's how good Last of the Rings is. Last of the Rings is a better book than Lord of the Rings. Yeah, that's how good of a book it is. You're you're finally gonna be like, oh my god, like Ivan's book is actually better than Lord of the Rings. Yeah, that's how good Zanus is. Best fans I've ever written. Right, but not only is Last of the Rings the best novel ever written. If adapted, it'll be the best movie ever made. Yes, even better than Avengers, Lord of the Rings, and Star Wars. I'm, when I mean Star Wars, I mean the original Star Wars. That's how good the book really is. As I guarantee you, all the CEOs and execs in Hollywood think I am crazy saying this. Like, man, Ivan, you must have some guts to say your book is, if adapted, we better a movie than the original Star Wars movies. Better than Lord of the Rings, and even better than the Avengers movies. But no... Once you read the book, you'll finally see what I mean. In other words, all those powerful CEOs and execs in Hollywood, they think I'm gutsy to say this, but once they read the book, they're going to be like, oh my God, Like if this was turned into a movie, if, if, if a lot of money was put into this movie and it's done right, you're looking at a better movie than Avengers, all the Avengers movies, the original Star Wars, and even better than Lord of the Rings. That's how good of that's how good of that's how good Zayn's is. It's so good that if it but you're looking at a better movie than, than, than all those big movies... Than all those, than all of those I just mentioned. That's what Gonzalez is. In other words, once all the CEOs and execs in Hollywood read my book, they'll be fucking jealous. Like, man, I wish I could turn this book into a movie, but Ivan owns all the rights. That's how shocked they will be by my story. In other words, once they read my book, they're gonna be like, oh my god, I wish I could get my hands on this movie, get get my hands on this book, and adapt it to the big screen because, because man, like. I, this would be the this is the best story we told because I own the rights to my book. They can't do that, obviously. Yeah, they're gonna be jealous. Oh, you know what? All the CEOs and executives in Hollywood, they're all gonna be jealous. Like, man, I wish I could turn this into a movie because this is the this, if you, you're looking at the best story we told. If you turn if we turn this into a movie, yeah. In other words, they will all want to get their hands on this story on this Last of Us story because it is literally the best story we told. Another reason why they'll be jealous, all the CEOs and execs in Hall will be jealous, is because I have the keys. Because I have the keys, I can fund my movies for a lot more money. In other words, Hollywood will be fucking jealous, considering I'll be putting nine seventy million into the last Hope for Zayas movie, biggest budget movie ever made, biggest budget ever, right? Putting nine seventy million into the last Hope for Zayas movie, and because I'm putting so much money into it, the best story ever told, and have Eric Tabby be the devil himself. Unheard of war building, unheard of action series, right? That is why Last of Us is will be the best story ever told in motion picture. The most badass, as well as the most horrific, as those lucky chosen Hollywood actors will be fighting alongside God in the flesh against devils on the big screen, and the woman will experience the horror alongside God in uh, alongside God in the flesh. Again, let me show you a picture of how scary Eretz really is. Right? Yeah, imagine... Imagine a Wolf King three times scarier than this, man. He's like, get the devil himself. Look at that. See that? Yep. Look at the devil himself, man. Fucking devil himself. Let me show you another picture. See that? Imagine a Wolf King three times scary. I want I want Eric to be three times scarier than Pennywise the Clown. Imagine a Devil Wolf King like that, man. You're looking at the Devil himself, man. And that's why Zayn is the best story told. Putting nine seventy million dollars into the movie, 
You're looking at unheard of world building, unheard of action scenes, unheard of horror. You're looking at the best story of a told man. So imagine, imagine, imagine incorporating that story into the big screen. Imagine adapting that story into the big screen, and at the same time you're putting all that money into the movie. And hence why Zane should look at the best story ever told, best movie ever made, man. Right. And hence why my wife said I am selfie made because not only did I write the best five song ever, I planned out my Sky Sports film company. And hence why she's so proud of me. And hence, and hence, hence you're fucking welcome, VJ. Turn my camera off here.